Hi everyone, this is Nick from Miner's Leisure World and normally at this time of year we're in Regina at our famous Dream in a Summer sale. This year though we're going to miss the crowds and the hype of the big city because this year in the interest of your safety we're going to have our very own personal sale right here in Weyburn and in order to reach as many people as we can for all you internet shoppers we're even going to share our sale online to a much wider audience. We're doing our utmost to keep everything safe for our in-person customers by booking appointments with them. We'll be disinfecting every unit after each visit. We'll be social distancing, wearing masks, and hand sanitizing along the way. We love our customers and we want to make sure they stay safe while enjoying their experience with us. So give us a call, let us know what you want to see. We'll book a day and a time and we'll make it happen. Well said, Jamie. Thanks for thinking about our safety. We're super excited this year to have our indoor show here in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. We don't pick and choose the RVs you want to see. You get to. With over 50 travel trailer bunk bed floor plans alone, you can shop online, call, text, email, and set up your personal appointment. We will do our very best to have the trailers nice and warm in the shop. Myself, Tammy, along with our entire team, will be here seven days a week for your convenience. Monday to Friday, 8 till 5, Saturdays and Sundays from 10 till 4. There will be weekly broadcasts, so to be sure you do not miss out on any of the excitement and our giveaways all month long, like us on Facebook and have your notifications on. Just a reminder, if there's a specific trailer or trailers you would like to see, give us a call or text us at 306-842-3288 so we can book an exclusive appointment time just for you. Thank you, Tammy. So Jamie, what are we gonna start with? Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Wolf Pup 17 JG. We're gonna take a look right around here. So back here, we've got your hookups, like your power hookup. You've got an LED light, which is perfect if you have to roll in at the middle of the night, you're doing your hookups. You've got your flushes, Furthermore, down the unit, you've got your backup camera, spare tire, and over here, we've got this amazing storage. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. You've got your dog leash holder, uh, speakers, your LED light strip in the awning, your little mini fridge, which is perfect for drinks. So new for 2021, we've got this amazing automotive glass door. Now I'm gonna let Marie take over and show you the inside. Hey everybody, why don't you come on in and have a look inside? Hey everybody, welcome inside this little Wolf Pup 17JG. This little travel trailer is weighing in under 4,000 pounds and really packs a punch. We can sleep up to six. So we're gonna get started here at the front. Um, queen size bed. So what you're getting here, a little bit of headboard, some uh, windows on either side, some storage above, touch lighting for those people who like to read, a TV mount bracket right here, and a really cool feature under this queen bed look at all the storage and this is accessible from outside as well so scroll down you guys use your fingers swipe across the screen and you can keep all your extra goodies down there we're going to move right into the kitchen so a seamless countertop super cool sink this year it's a nice big round stainless steel sink upgraded faucet kind of a brushed nickel look and then even a hand sanitizer dispenser right there big window right on campsite so you can keep an eye on the fire and the kids and what's happening outside a little bit of technology up here this is your um, uh, stereo system radio and there's an app for that there's an app for everything right now and I should also mention this trailer has the one control app so it's as easy as taking your phone scanning a barcode and what that does is it marries you up with your trailer so you can run your lights check your tank sensors check your battery power and even put your awning in and out right from your phone very very cool okay keep going here battery disconnect down low scroll down use your finger right down here look at the cabinets i'm going to open that up bit of storage remember there's that mini fridge outside so that's right behind that panel there 
keep going. Little two burner cooktop, glass cover, nice and functional. And then above that, we've got a microwave and a little hood fan. Uh, you want to look up here, that stereo system is um, paired up with these really cool uh, speakers so you can enjoy all that music. Bunk bed floor plan. We're going to have a look here. Super thick teddy bear mattresses. So you've got single bunks at the back. Each kid has their own individual touch lighting and they can play with that. And they all have 12 volt chargers too. So um, kids tend to be charging a few things at all times. Opposite the bunk beds is this beautiful, beautiful fridge. So what we have done this year um, due to factory supply and uh, is we've paired this trailer up with a 12 volt American made refrigerator and also the roof mount solar panel. So that solar panel is going to charge your battery, which is going to keep your fridge cool, cold, faster, cools about four times faster. It's twice as big and you can safely travel with it on the road. So love that feature. Um, we are also going to have a look here at this wonderful Udinet booth uh, seating. So family of five, six, no problem. Storage drawers all be below and then this table will fold down and make a nice size bed. Nice deep thick cushions. You guys if you're doing some co product comparisons look at how plush those seat cushions are and the mattresses are. Uh, that's one way some people cut corners and these guys definitely do not. A couple things about this floor plan I need to mention large air conditioner we've got a 13,500 BTU AC it is going to keep you super more than probably what you need and also um oops and also the really cool thing is if you're traveling and your kids need to stop to go pee which in my family that happened all the time um with the slide in comes to about here scroll down to about here you can still get at your fridge grab a pop grab a snack and use the bathroom so um love that feature because it's gonna save you some money at gas stations okay let's check out the bathroom next and here we are into your family's bathroom so um Unlike some other floor plans, you don't get a sink in this bathroom, but you actually have room for a toilet, a tub. A lot of manufacturers are getting rid of the tub, a little bit of a tub, shower, and there is a roof vent in here, um, and a foot flush toilet. That's important. Uh, I didn't know why until I went camping in an RV. So foot flush toilet, very handy. So thanks for joining us on this little tour of the 17JG Wolf Pup. Um, Pre-sales on this have been fantastic so make sure you give us a call text email set up your appointment to see this little guy in person 306-842-3288wow that was so much fun nick what do you got for us today well before i show you the transcend 265vh we're going to go and have a look at some parts okay so we'll see you later Hey Carla, how's it going? Good, how are you? Marvelous. Good. So you're going to show us a few things that we've got that will start off a new camper, new customer with some base, very basics for their trailer. Yes, absolutely. Good. So first of all, we're going to start with our Max Air covers. Yep. Now the benefit of these is while you're traveling, you can actually leave the vent open to allow airflow in to the trailer. Oh, so you don't have to worry about the rain coming down in at all? Exactly. The rain will Bonus. not get in there. You can leave it open 24-7 yeah. and it's going to protect the inside of your RV and well, allow excellent. airflow in there and it won't be too hot. Cool. Yeah. Um, another good product is our surge guard because you never know if you're going to get a surge when you're plugged into a power outlet. And you know, I've heard a lot of customers complaining that, that they've had those surges happen and then fried out their fridges and different components. Yes, in and then you're adding units. up a lot oh, good. of extra costs. Excellent. Uh, RV toilet paper, always, always use RV toilet well, paper. Well, and we've still got some left after the COVID surge and all that <laughs> stuff. Okay, good, good. We sure do. Okay. Um, Drop-ins as well are always a good thing. Yeah. It helps break down all the solids and your toilet paper as well. So and well, that very, keeps the entire it, system clean inside, inside absolutely. the computer, yes. or inside the trailer. Good. We've got leveling blocks. Yep. So this is a 10 pack, so you can use as many or as little as you like. So that's always Super. a good thing. I like the slide out stabilizers. Now, okay, so what's that all about? So if you're in a permanent site and you've got a slide out yep. and you're, you've got a lot of weight on there lots of times, this just helps to hold it up and mm -hmm. gives it a little bit more stability. Okay. So then you're not 
worrying yep. about it tipping down. Gotcha. So those are always a great thing. Sewer hose. Sewer hoses are amazing. Well, need and, the and sewer hose. Definite Definitely need them <laughs> for, for sure. sure. Yeah, yes. so now that attaches to the outlet on the trailer, of course, and then it goes right into the drain, into the exactly. into the uh, septic tank. Good you stuff. Bet. Yes. Excellent. Uh, we also do have the water filter. So that just hooks right onto your RV and into right. the water line, and then you're getting clean water. Excellent. Now you've got a whole pile of stuff, and these are need-to-haves as well as nice-to-haves, uh, but it's something that you're going to go through with the client. And yes. do you have specials on for the first-time buyers and that we sort do, of thing? We do. We do. Everybody gets 10% off. Good. And yeah, so you can stock up on so everything. It's a good time. It is a good time to buy. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you. You've got many more to show, but we'll wait to another time. Sounds wonderful. Hey. Okay, now that you've seen a few parts that are, you're going to be needing on your trip, Let's have a look at a trailer that you might want to take too. This is a Transcend 265BH, another bunkhouse of course, and I'm just going to walk through it fairly quickly for you to enjoy. Right on the front here you'll see large, large underbelly storage. It has walk through, not walk through, it's a drive through. <laughs> it's, it's so big. You can have a look right through it. It's got lights inside that are, are uh, motion sensor so you'll never be in the dark. Having a look at the the siding this is aluminum siding but you'll notice that this is totally different from what you're used to with aluminum siding it's a matte finish but it's a heavier gauge when we first saw this when they first brought this out we thought this thing looks more like vinyl than anything so it's just a marvelous unit it's heavy duty on the 265 it's actually got two doors so we've got one out of the bedroom as you come back it's got a power awning and the neat thing about this power awning is that you can adjust it so simple just by pulling that down in one corner you can actually have the rain come down on one side if you want or you can pull it down both ways and <laughs> Jesus. Gotcha. or you can come down <laughs> Let's do that <laughs> if you want that in the picture. Okay. So that's something that you might want to watch for. <laughs> when, if it's raining, make sure you brought it down a little bit so that it can flow off. And that would be a good lesson for us all to learn. As we come down the side of the trailer, it's got outside speakers. Nice LED light out on the outside to keep you bright and shiny on the outside of your trailer. Going into the unit, we'll talk about this shortly, we're going to go around the back, but long, large, easy access handle, so if you're carrying groceries and the like, you can just move in there very easily. On the back of the trailer, loads of storage, and that's something that, you're, that everybody talks about. They want to have a lot, of, a lot of space that you can haul things with, especially with your family. So this is under the bunks from the inside. Lots of space here. Magnet doors pulled up and everything. Plus it's got a ladder and it's even got the easy access to hook up your backup camera or the observation camera. We're gonna go all the way up to the front here. Come on all the way up to the front here of the, of the back side of the coach. And this is quite important because it's, again, Transcend and Grand Design have thought about everything to make it easy for you. And in, back in here, we have the, the attachments for your water. You just push your hose up through from underneath into side here, hook it up, and then you've got it for the city water right off the bat, or you just turn it for the fresh tank full. It's very simple to operate. And it's even got a battery disconnect, so your battery doesn't go dead on you in a short time. Now we're around to the front again, and we're going to just sh introduce you to someone new. Okay, now I want Tammy to show you what's going on in the inside. How's that, Tam? Yeah, thanks, Nick. <laughs> Let's check out the inside. So I'm inside the 2021 Transcend 265BH bunkhouse. Awesome family floor plan. 
tons of sleeping space and I just fell in love with this floor plan. So let's get started. At the back here we have your double over double bunks, great space for the kids, a window at each level, both windows open and it does have the black pleated blinds at each bunk too. A curtain for closing off privacy that um, encloses each bunk. We've got storage on the side here for the kids and even on the steps there's drawers so every little nook and cranny has some extra storage. Trifold sofa sleeper here so another bed. The dinette makes into a bed so you've got the u-shaped dinette that pops down to a bed. Over here in the kitchen area entertainment system TV on a swing arm so you can move that wherever you want if you want to angle it towards the bunks for the kids to watch TV you certainly can and over on the side here we've got your AM FM CD Bluetooth stereo system great counter space um, seamless countertops lots of counter space here and a great amount of storage as I mentioned before full extension drawer glides Moving on into the kitchen area, we have your three piece, uh, three burner cooktop with your glass cover and your oven, microwave. Again, great storage in the back, stainless steel farm sink, lots of upper cupboards for storage. And this is equipped with your 12 volt refrigerator. So this coach has on it the solar panel package as well with your solar panel, solar charger and voltmeter. Fully um, ducted air conditioning, inside speakers, and as Nick had mentioned, it does have the outside speakers too, which run from the stereo system. As we move into the washroom here, we have the nice, spacious, open concept washroom. Great little counter space here, sink, vanity, and medicine cabinet, porcelain foot flush toilet, residential style shower, and it also has this cool new shower um, door feature, it is, mil it is mold and mildew resistant, very durable, um, so there's no fear of that breaking on you or tearing, and as it closes, or as it opens, I'm sorry, it just kind of swishes the water off, so there's no um, fear of build up with mold on that. A little bit of a linen closet here where you can roll some towels. And we move into the master bedroom, 60 by 80 queen size bed. We've got power outlets on either side of the bed, the USB port on one side, little nightstands, storage across the top and storage along the sides. The bed also lifts for storage. So again, thanks for joining us on this tour of the 2021 Transcend 265BH. Hey, thanks, Tammy, but you know what? Mine's bigger than yours. Let's check out this brand new sport trek. Here we are at the front of our all time number one selling bunkhouse family unit. This is the 327 VIK sport trek. So, what you're getting in this floor plan is triple slides, bunkhouse with quad bunks, outside kitchen, and loads of campsite windows. So, um, we're going to have lots this year. Make sure you hit us up and shop early. Sport Trek is by Venture RV. Notice this brand new automotive style windshield. This is brand new for 2021. You're getting a fiberglass molded cap with the stone guard coming all the way down onto our campsite. Magnetic holdbacks on your pass-through compartment doors. <laughs> two 10 foot awnings so it maximize your camping space your shade you've got two awnings one here and one on your slide we've also got the solid step system lots of these trailers are going to seasonal spots so um, and also i'm going to do a plug for our mobile seasonal um, service technicians with minard's leisure world you get three years of emergency on-site service with the purchase of a new trailer so these brand new uh, steps fold right into the door frame. Very solid, sturdy, pet friendly, people friendly. And then you just fold them out. Adjustable legs here. Lots of people, I, I go back to all of our Dreaming of Summer sales and one of our top, top questions asked is, can I put these on my trailer? Yes, 
hit us up in the parts department. We need a couple measurements from you and we can get that outfitted on your very own trailer. Or you could just upgrade your trailer. Okay, let's keep going. Campside windows. I have to share a little story. Six, seven years ago, we designed this floor plan for Venture. And we at Minard's Leisure World designed this floor plan for Venture. They made it. It is their number one selling uh, floor plan. What we wanted to see was bigger bunks, campside windows, um, and loads of storage. And when Jamie does the inside, you're going to see all that storage features. Coming to the very back of the trailer here. You can't have a good bunkhouse trailer without an outside kitchen. So look at this one. Um, when we designed the floor plan, we didn't ask for a TV out here, but somebody decided to, that was a good idea and we love it. So they get their own um, DVD stereo system, outside speakers, the kids and or rider games, or I, I don't want to say any other football team names because I don't, but <laughs> you're going to see back here, this push away camp kitchen mini fridge and then your kabam entertainment center and that's all behind this nice big door compartment right here i also should mention the um, climate package underneath this trailer we've got uh, thermal foil wrapped heated and closed ducted heat blowing into the underbelly so um, you can go off season a bit if that seasonal is a little colder may long weekend or september long weekend Brand new again for 2021 models. You're not seeing that big cargo tray anymore. What they're equipping it with is a two inch receiver. So you can buy your own bike racks or cargo trays and, and or nothing. And it actually shortened the trailer up quite a bit, not having that tray uh, all the way to the end. Okay, so in a nutshell, front to back, that's the 327 VIK Sport Trek. Um, that's the outside. We're gonna go to Jamie right now and she's gonna take you on a little tour of the inside of this model. All right, guys, let's go take a look. All right, guys, we are inside the 327 Vic. Um, first, I want to start off with the entry of the trailer. We've got this awesome hidden compartment here. This is where all of your controls are. You can put, you know, your keys in here. There's charging ports for your phone. And it's also in combination with this amazing hatch. So you're going to see that we've got this really nice barn look back with the wood cutting board. Lots of storage in here. You've got these little cubbies. You've got your Furion 12 volt fridge. It's 10 cubic feet. Beautiful island. You've got your residential pull faucet. We've got your three top burner stove microwave tons of storage you guys you also got a pantry over here these are really nice deep cupboards furthermore down here we've got your 40 inch tv so this tv does swivel so you can get wherever you need it to go you've also got some extra storage like i just can't stress it enough that this unit has the storage that you're going to need you've got your electric fireplace below We've got um, theater seating with the bench dinette, and that also converts to another uh, sleeping space. But you guys are going to want to check out the website because we have done it both ways. You get either the theater seating with the bench dinette, or you get that big king U dinette. Um, now we've also got storage above your seating, beautiful campsite windows. Now I'm going to show you below the dinette you've got these beautiful cabinets under here with these pull out storage compartments which are perfect and now let's go check out that bunkhouse all right guys so now we are inside the bunkhouse of the 327 vic and first thing i want you to notice is the high ceilings we're 82 inches now this is a true quad bunk you've got your double bunks over here and then you've also got this pull down bunk with the jackknife sofa below. It does have another table option for you. So if the kids wanna have a snack in here, do some coloring, whatever. And in here is another storage compartment. Like, I can't stress enough. This unit has the storage that you're gonna need. All right, let's go check out the rest of that unit. All right, guys, so this is the bathroom of the unit. You can see we've got a foot flush toilet. We've got your medicine cabinet, vanity, You've got your shower, corner shower, 
Lots of storage in here. Now this bathroom also has two access doors. You've got one from the front entrance and we've also got one from the master bedroom. So you get your privacy and it's awesome. Let's go check out the master bedroom. Okay guys, this is the master bedroom. We've got the true queen size bed. You've got storage all along. We've got these wardrobe shelves. You've got little cubbies on either side of the bed for your glasses, cup of water, charging station. That's that window that Marie was telling you about outside. You've also got windows on either side. Um, room for a TV up there, it's backed, and storage under the bed. Okay guys, I think you can see from this little clip of what the 327 has to offer and why it is one of our best selling units. It's 8,300 pounds dry. We've got Wi-Fi prep. We've got tons of storage. You've got a couple different options. So remember to check out the website. Now let's go see what Tammy and Nick have to offer. Thanks, Jamie. Now featuring the 2021 Connect 241 BHK SE. This is a family bunk model with one slide, double over double bunks. It has knocked it out of the park for numerous years for us, and we're super excited to still have it in our lineup. As you can see, full pass-through storage here at the front. It does have the magnetic catches for the doors, so for your convenience, if you have your arms full, you've got that magnetic catch all finished off nicely with the linoleum solar panel prepped so you can choose to add a solar panel if you would like power awning it does have the led lights in it and they are adjustable arms so you can adjust the pitch if you want a little bit more shade that sort of thing solid step system here they just fold right up into the door frame nice and convenient and super sturdy and they're not going to rust on you a popular feature on a lot of trailers that a lot of um, folks are looking for is the outside kitchen now. Last few years, it has grown in popularity. New style um, grill top here. So this is your griddle. So a flat top griddle and your mini fridge for all of your extra beverages. Outside shower as well. So you can hose those kids off when they come back from the beach. Another great feature on the outside of the Connect 241 is the outside speakers, which you can run from your stereo system inside the coach. So that just about covers it for the interior. I do want to add that the Connect has a two-year manufacturer's warranty as well. Let's see what we've got in store inside. Hey, Nick, do you want to show the folks all the wonderful features of the inside? Okay, Tammy, thank you. Now, I'm inside the Connect SE, the 241BHK SE, and You'll see that this, uh, Tammy had mentioned that this is one of our most popular floor plans that we've had for a number of years, and it's, and the Connect has been one of our most popular RVs for, that we've had for a number of years. So you're going to see why. It's a great family coach, uh, shorter, so for smaller vehicles to tow it and everything, and you, you'll love it. Anyway, I'm at the dinette right now, the U-shaped dinette, lots of space here. This will, of course, make into a bed if you like. It has pleated blinds, and they're black, so that that can keep most of the light out for you. As we look around, you have a pantry right handy, and right next to the television area, and then more storage, storage space right down below. As we go around, I'll just show you here the, the neat sink, farm sink, undermounted and stainless steel you got lots of space in there to do dishes and even crock pots and larger larger things but a lot of space that you can see here too and it goes right over top of the the stove top which is mounted and deep set in and this can just fold up out of the way when you're ready to use it and it's handy dandy all the way back to the fridge eight cubic foot fridge and these smaller trailers, normally you only have the six, but eight cubic feet, so you've got lots of space. And as Tammy mentioned earlier, there's also the small fridge outside. Double bunks, double over double, and you'll see loads of space again with USB ports top and bottom for the kids. Also something that so many people have been asking for are windows inside the bunks. And Connect has once again made, made their good points on it. More pantry space right on the side here, or you can use this for place for the kids to put their clothes and, and the like for the trip. Something I did forget, of course, was underneath some of the storage, and under both sides of the dinette, you have the storage area. And 
One other thing that I'm quite excited about, and if you've been camping before, you know that nobody leaves the door shut, and you're always getting the flies in. And so this, with the screen door, it has a screenshot on it, and it always just shuts the door for you. Now, from the door right into the bedroom, nice spacious door, bedroom. Look at the space in between the, the bed, foot of the bed and the, and the wall. 60 by 74, it's an RV queen. You have the pleated blinds on each side, so you can, with the windows, you can open this up and get nice ventilation through. It has the closet space on each side. Space right handy here if you did want to put uh, uh, extra things like glass of water and the like. But you'll see in behind it has storage as well. And the storage includes a USB port as well as plug-in. It's large enough that you can even put one of the smaller uh, CPAP machines if, if that's uh, a need for you. All right, now let's head out and have a look at the bathroom. Inside the bathroom of the 241BHK, you'll see it has vanity, medicine cabinet, vanity and sink, all handy. And again, nice countertop because this is where you're going to be having your toothbrush and all the neat stuff. So you're going to, like people like to have some space that you can set that up and down. Good space in the shower and foot flush toilet, all enclosed in a handy dandy space. Okay, well that is it for the Connect 241BHK SE. And thank you, Tammy, for showing the outside. And I'm Nick uh, with Miners Leisure World. And what I want you to do is give us a call, 842-3288, and give us a call to make an appointment. Come and see this little baby and enjoy our show. Dang, Mom, I think it's time to get that discombobulated conductor looked at. It's making that noise again. Oh, dear. I knew our son and mother road trip was going to be cut short. What are we going to do? Well, don't fret, Ma. Didn't your salesman, Fred, mention something about RV care? Oh, you're right. He even helped me download that app. Let me check. Wow, I'm happy you bought from an RV care dealer. And that Fred guy, he was sure great. Well, it looks like we're only four and a half kilometers from Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Minard's Leisure World is the RV care dealer. Weyburn, Saskatchewan? Don't they have the only KFC buffet in Canada? Hot dog! Hey Spot, you want some chicken? It looks like they're running a special on some of their RV care parts too. Do we need any more TP? Hi, I'm Marie with Minard's Leisure World and we are an RV care dealer. So I have 14 years of sales experience in the RV industry. The things I like about RV care is that I get to use something in my sales process, in my sales pitch that adds value, um, helps our dealership and me stand apart from some of the competition and um, provides a service. Hello, like, I mean, we get awesome parts we provide awesome service. We tell our customers if they are traveling, going anywhere in North America, that um, we're going to take care of them. And that is a win-win. Hi, Tammy here with Minard's Leisure World, and we're super proud to be an RV care dealer. What that gets is, um, gives our customers peace of mind at over 70 independent dealers across Canada and over 120 independent yeah. dealers across the US. So basically, we're traveling with our customers. They have peace of mind that they're going to be looked after no matter where they are. And as well on top of that, um, they are, have the opportunity to take advantage of discounts at over 510 KOA campgrounds across North America. Hi, I'm Mac from Minard's Leisure World and we're proud to be an RV care dealer. I think RV care is an essential sales tool for anyone wanting to stand out from the rest. I think it gives me a quiet confidence when I'm talking to the customer and sharing what we're all about here at Minards. And I like being able to show them all of the exclusive accessories that we can sell at discount prices or even exclusive lines of products like the Northern Spirit trailers. I like telling them about our application process and sharing our story of joining this huge network. I think sharing that story adds a sense of uh, legitimacy to our values here. They can see that they wrap up so nicely with the RV care values as well. And it shows the customer that we're not just an average dealer. They've finally found the right dealership for them.
Hi, I'm now with Sean Rooley, one of our Red Seal techs, as well as our main guy that heads out to our campsite service. So Sean, you've been here for a while now with us. About how long? Nine years. Nine years? Now tell me a little bit about Red Seal itself. What does that mean? To get your Red Seal, it means you've gone through four years of apprenticeship training and then wrote an interview provincial exam. And you've come all the way from BC to live with us. Yes, from Columbia. Yes. And fresh out of school, I think. Out of, uh, our no, school, I worked for three years in Kelowna first yeah. before being hired by Great. Right. right, okay. And now, you worked here in the building and then a couple of years ago you started going on campsite service. Yeah. How do you like that? I do like it a lot. Um, I get to go out and see the province because I'm not from here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like every week I'm out in a different place that I've never seen before. Right. So that's been pretty cool. And how are the customers? They've been really, really good. Yeah. Um, my experience has been by the time I get out there to help them, they're just happy that I'm that I'm there to to help them yeah. to deal with whatever yeah. problem that they're right. having. Now, when you go out, you take parts with you as well, like uh, that, that people can pick up some extra, extra things from you, or you just fully... A little bit, yes. Yeah. But, and mostly doing the tech jobs that are helping our customer. And you help, uh, at, at different campsites, you will help whoever is in need, if need be, or do you have to stick to your script? Or to Generally, your that is the way it is. Um, the farther ahead in advance you can contact the service desk, the better. Because um, usually when I go out, I have eight hours to do 10 hours worth of work. Yeah. So it's tough to accommodate everybody, yeah. but usually I can give someone five, 10 minutes of my time to at least look at their problem and kind of make an assessment from there. Troubleshooting anyway, no, for sure, no, good for you. Well, that's, that's important because so many times that like, we get calls from sales, that like, we get calls from campsites that are people that have said, we saw your truck here. And we saw that young man helping out people that weren't even your own customers. So we want to deal with you because of that. So, so I appreciate that very much. For sure. So tell me any different experiences that you've had when you've gone out on these sites. Well, it's not completely uncommon when I go out somewhere that I go out, I have my list of jobs that I have to do that day, but usually I'll get flagged down by somebody who's going, hey, I got a problem, whatever, can yeah. you come have a look at it? And like I said, usually I can give that person a little bit of my time to at least have a look-see, and sometimes I'm able to fix it right then and there on the yeah. spot, and they're happy about that. So anything that's a little uh, outrageous that you've seen, like some fun stuff that you've uh that you have it, like uh, backup sewers that you've enjoyed working on or anything like that? Luckily, I haven't had too many of those kind of jobs. <laughs> um, more often than not, it's usually simple stuff. The contact is because they saw you on the campsite or because they got to know you a little bit or because uh, uh, they got something solved because you happened to be there or that you, that you said, you worked it. I know you've traveled from Cypress Hills up to North Bay, all over the all over the province, and uh, so thank you very much because of that. Something else, you're, you're involved also on social media a little bit on Facebook and uh, with different sites, not just just Miners Leisure World. A little bit, yeah. There's a couple of owners groups that I kind of lurk in, just to try and help out here and there wherever I can. It can be a learning experience for me too, because yeah. if I'm able to help someone get to the bottom of a problem that they're having, I could very well learn from that too. One of the things that we are so proud of with uh, the United Visual are our people. And it's uh, people like Sean really that, uh, that make us uh, the, the true business that we really are. And that is uh, the fact that, that you care. You care about those customers. You're not just there just doing your job. You want to make sure that they are having a good job, campsite experience, and uh, you help us out that way. Sean has been involved with his, his church, he's been involved with our community ever since he's been in, in Weyburn, and met a lady and married her, and is going to stay here now forever and ever, and work with us for sure. She's one of those Saskatchewan farm girls who got warned about when I moved out here. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I'm glad that, they, that you didn't listen to the warning. <laughs> yes. 
Anyway, with that, Sean, thank you very much. I keep up the good work, and I hope that you have lots of experiences to get this year. Right on. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And that's it, folks, uh, for, for Campsite Service uh, Commercial. And hopefully you'll enjoy that. And uh, please come and see us at Miners Leisure World uh, in Weber. Hey, Caroline, back again. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Now you're going to show us something that everybody should have. If for no other reason, it's a marriage saver, correct? Yes, yes it is. Yes, it <laughs> there is. There you go. So a lot of the trailers that we sell do come with the prep. Yes. So you can just buy your camera. You get your screen. Excellent. And you can just, it, all it is is two screws. Pop it in. You're good to go. You can have a, it can add on the marker lights as well. So you can have a 360 degree view. And you can watch it while you're, you know, if you need to check on stuff in the back and so when you're driving. So this will stay on while you're driving, so you can see who's coming up behind yes. you all the time. Good. Yes, so you can always, and you can switch to the left side, right side, and the rear. Holy smokes. I didn't realize you could do all, and now, does this go right into your truck, or does this sit on the dash on the truck? You can put this right into your vehicle. Yeah. Also, if you wanted to do an extra one above your door, you can have this inside and have a security system as well. Oh, inside the trailer. Inside so you the can trailer. be seeing what's going on outside all the time. Absolutely, yes. Oh, it covers a lot of things. It really does, Marvelous. yes. Yes. And, uh, and as far as installation, you can have that installed on the trailer when the customer first picks it up. Absolutely, you bet. Yep. Fantastic. Good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so you're going to be able to find out about this observation camera and many more options that we have available through Carla and her parts team. Just give us a call at 306-842-3288. Gene and I live, love and breathe the RV lifestyle. It's connected us to friends we would have never met. It's given us some amazing family time and it's given us some much needed downtime. Our hope is that when you shop here and meet our amazing staff, you'll find the corporate culture different than anywhere else. Our team has one mantra, to find you the right RV at the right price that fits your budget and your needs. And you know what? You'll have fun with them. Welcome to Minard's Dreaming of Summer.